this here's my story I want to inspire you I want to motivate you I want to encourage you to the words I'm looking for are always there but there's it's it's time to embrace who you truly are and in Use your, your gifts, your talents, whatever it is. My point, in my, my point in my story is I created this story right here. As you can see, I'm going to go through it briefly and discuss, um, just share my inspirations. I created this script a couple years back and I was finally able to get it printed out. I'm still working on other manuscripts, but this was done during a time where eight years ago, I had a beautiful, sweet lady who was part of my journey too, and I will explain that in the video, in the video, that I was trying to do my soaps, and this is all in the script. As I go through, you'll see it, but without further ado, I will present to you with a little sto story about soap inspirations and you'll know when you see it you'll see the the pictures that will inspire you this all came about five years ago and then some so without further ado here we are now mind you the pictures might be a little blurry but they're here and it's my soap inspirations story which i do have a web page and i will i will definitely link the page in my video on YouTube. I want to inspire you to give you inspiration to, to succeed and find your creative side. As I was writing this story, I was just beginning to learn, tap into my intuitive inspiration right before I had my foot surgery. But that story is, that detail is for later on. I want to give you such inspiration to help you, inspire you, and reach your journey. Mine has not always been the greatest. It was a challenge. So I used my story right here to inspire and to let my gifts come through. In the following pages, I want you, you to use your imagination and to create a vision for your life, to see things unfold. Now this is for you and you alone. So make a journal, find a secret, find your inspiration, and get creative with your with your aspiration aspirations each one of us has a talent a gift that's inside of us and it will come out in the right time but trust me and i just wanted to take you through this and let you get inspired by looking at the pictures and looking at each one and you let your imagination go to new heights because each picture will bring out creativity once you read into the picture and see how much inspiration I thought I put into it, each one, you'll understand what I was trying to do. So without further ado, here's the next page. As you zoom in, I created these soaps when I was just starting to get into my soap business, which is Soap Inspirations by HJL, which is me. I'm Heather J. Lotado. I also have a web page. And I will definitely give you the link below in the video. These soaps were created during my lazy times, 2015, when I just finished having search or getting in the process of having surgery. I was trying to create an album, an outlet to let my soap shine. And these pictures, one is a soap and the other one is a candle. So I decided to match the soap with the candle to tap into the creativity that I was feeling at the time. Um, this is called Lazy Lavender Lush, and it's one of my favorites. I used this soap as an experiment to get into my, in tune with the flowers and the soaps and just become one with it. Now, not every soap is alike, but I had to learn how to, I had to learn as I went. But you can clearly see it took me time to incorporate these soaps, and that's what I did. I was f excited, nervous, deeply in my feelings, and I decided, okay, let's see what I can do. And this is where my soap inspiration came about. It took me time and era to get through, but I did. 
So I want you to just get into your zone, find what makes you truly happy, and let that be. You, the only way you're gonna find out what works is you keep trying. Even if it fail, you keep trying. You do find out what works and find out what doesn't. So this is where I came up with this soap. It's called Lazy Lavender Lush, and um, it took me trial and error. I am not gonna lie, I burnt many plastic mugs ceramic plastic containers that actually melted in the microwave down so you learn as you go and I started to get into my creative edge and that's where I started to use ceramic coffee mugs or ceramic dishes to melt the glycerin soaps in the microwave on the lowest heat setting and then I learned how to incorporate the oils the essential oils and the seeds of the lavender flowers to make the soap stand out and so you see in here, that's where it's at. It took me a little while, but I got it done. When I started to get into more of my creative edge, I found seashells when I went to get some clear air. These seashells were part of the, my journey, and these are loofahs. And I figured, why not exfoliate and use the soap and loofah in one? So I created the glycerin soap with loofah in it, and I wrapped put the picture with the beach because my beach is my favorite scenery it's relaxing and calming and the seashells are just amazing so I try to combine the two pictures in one to make it seashells by the seashore and that's where this picture came in play and if I am bouncing all over the place the camera I'm holding the camera while I'm talking to you so have fun <laughs> don't get seasick <laughs> This is my favorite one because when it was, <clears throat> it was my first name of my soap, Scented Soap by Heather. I was just starting out trying to find a name for my soaps and this came about and I just went with it. I found these flowers which are real. They're late daisy ones and I used my sister's plate when I, she went camping and that's how I was able to create these soaps. And this, the mold came out just perfect. So it looks like lilies in the field, as you can see here. And I decided to concoct and put these soaps into a flower mold. Finally, I was understanding how to incorporate the soaps in the mold and getting in tune with how to be creative with my talent. And that's where these came in. I still didn't have a name for my soaps yet, but I was ex experimenting and going through things. This picture was definitely taken at my sister's, sister's house when she was still around. I was lying around and I things started coming together. I had the dish, I had the blanket, I had the comforter, all props for when I was trying to do the day's the new soap, and I was house sitting for her. So I got into the ins I got inspired, and that's when the Daisy soaps came about. So I was up to literally 12 midnight to 2 a.m doing these soaps and saying, okay, this is it. I found it. It took me a while, but I found the soaps that actually started blooming into something. And the name was a little scratchy, but it's there. Now, after <laughs> trial and error, I finally found a soap that represents a drink. And it was by fluke. I literally just was like, let's, let's, have some fun and let's drink. So why not have your favorite drink sent in a soap? And that's where these peach bellini loofah soaps came about. It was all by fluke and I had the plates, I had the soap, I had the mold, the props, and I thought of why not bellini? So that's where this came out. It's refreshing, it smells like peach, and it's got the it's almost exact ingredients of a bellini but all in essential oils and these are safe to use of course i would not use anything else but they represent what my creativity was and i added that to a soap so you get peach bellini this is where my creative engines start flowing much more better much better did i just repeat myself oh dear now these truly are my favorite because these are what i did say diamonds are a girl's best friend and when you find your diamond in the rough it all ties together all the work all the concentration and this is my little girl Ella who's trying to come into me 
Come here, honey. Come here. Are you trying to cut into my time? She wants my time. So I'm going to make this video, sh try to make this video short and sweet and finish where I'm started. But the diamonds are a girl's best friend and they're diamond gems. Oh my. These were created in 2016. And it goes, the story goes a long way. The gemstones are approximately 25 miles beneath the Earth's surface. Each gemstone is found deeper in the Earth, and the diamonds are formed into pipes. And it goes into all this illustration of the of the surface of the Earth, the mantle on the Earth's surface. They're molded and shaped into special little crystals. When the lava hits them, they cool up, but it's more than that. I'm not a geologist, but the story goes, the first type of rock is ingenious. It's also formed by cooling and crystallizing the magma between the Earth's surface, and that's where you get the pressurized stone for the diamonds. Long story short, the gems, and there's my little girl trying to cut in. <laughs> she, she knows I'm talking to somebody. I'm trying to do a story here, sweetheart. Okay, okay. So, <laughs> she... Anyway, gems are found in genius rocks, including amethyst, centron, and amethyst. All I can say is, I was inspired by this picture. I created these stones, these rock gems. I had them all to and that's what came out. Each one had different shape, style, and holding arts, and they smell exactly how diamonds are a girl best, girl's best friend perfume so it's amazing I decided to really tap into my creative side and then these came out so there's a little history of the how diamonds are formed and gems and there's also a history of how these soaps came out so each one is a win-win and that's where the picture came through and since I am running out of space and time and my little girls she wants to have my time I'm gonna go a little bit shorter in detail but these are my soap disc that I did create with my other soap molds. I was just totally inspired by the other ones as I got more and more into making the soaps and getting creative and buying the mold. These soap discs were the next thing to my soap creativity. They're all natural, of course, and they have essential oils in each one. And they're just a little bit more down-to-earth and plain bar soaps. But I got, I was trying to take a step down and do these, and these are what popped up. So I also have the molds that say soaps, which is amazing. Or I should say soap, because that's what it says on the mold itself. But I started to tap into my creative edge and get um, silicone molds, because they just worked so much better. With all the past trials of getting the plastic molds, they weren't cutting it. Now there's a story behind the, behind the plastic molds. You can use the plastic molds, but you have to spray them and let the mold set for so long. So the the best thing to do is get the silicone mold and then spray it, and that way it's easy to pop out. With the plastic molds, they work okay, but they crack very easy. So lesson learned, trial and error. Go with the silicone when you're making soaps. It's so much easier and so much better to pop out the soap when it's done. Next, and Simon says it's time to wrap this up. You see it for yourself. The colors match up. I decided to go with blue, yellow, blue, okay, green, blue, purple, red, and that's almost the color of Simon Says. And believe it or not, I did play this game as a child, so it was, a def it was definitely um, ideal and right up there with being, with being in sync to the soaps and I decided why not add the picture to the soap section and say Simon says let's do this <laughs> I started to get more and more creative with this and it's doing it seemed to be pouring out of me the soaps and the creativity and my story so plus I was also and my other in part of the story I didn't tell you I was ha I just had foot surgery, so I was recovering and doing these pages till 12 midnight to 1 to 2 just to get these pages done so that you can have this story of what I was going through and how I use my creative edge 
to get me where I need to be. And this video might be a little bit long, so I'm going to cut it here. I will give more details later on. This is vanilla chai latte. Sometimes you just need a latte. And this was the soap I created in 2018. During, before my sister's time, uh, when she was still around, I decided to go a little bit more. Um, she became the best inspiration for me to keep going through the really rough times. And I... I dedicate my book to her too so when you'll hear more of this story in a little bit but this is vanilla chai latte it's mini soap scrubs and it works amazing I sometimes you just need a cup of coffee and you need a soap to match up so and these can be used in your face your hands body whichever and they, they will fill your senses up with the coffee so I'm very in happy that I found a scrub that is actually related to coffee and you can actually use it. So, there you go. Let's button it up. Sometimes you can't, you can't get it all, but sometimes you just need to find your buttons and put them back together. And these are actually soaps. Can you believe it? Can you see which one is soap? I bet you can't. <laughs> Kitty soaps, I was just tapping into it. Can you find the dinosaur? I hope you can. This is way before the, the last Jurassic movie came out, so I'm very excited to be ahead of that, even though I was I'm a little behind at times. I got creative edge and I started to go with ki the kitty molds. So that's where this came out. And I found the picture to go with it, so why not? We all need to have a spa day once in a while. So we're going to have a spa day with your favorite soap. It's amazingly soothing and it's it smells just like when you go into a spa. So that's that. I never thought I'd see the day when they have the yin yang soap. And of course they do. So this is the yin yang symbol. And I just, I got creative as you can see from here to here. You'll see the similarities of the soap and the actual coffee bean before it's made into coffee. You'll see the similarities. I was just tapping my creative edge, and that's where it started. Next, sometimes you need a Bellini. No, oops, mimosa. Sometimes you need a mimosa. So I took the flowers of a yellow daisy, and I created cal no, the calendar. Calendula flowers and they are smell they smell exactly like the mimosa so I decided to use a certain orange oil to create the mimosa of the champagne orange juice and they smell just like it so I'm very excited this was created back in 2019 as you can see today so it was it was definitely a last minute inspiration and I was like, you know what, what can I do now? And this is what it came out. So there you go. Next, I promise you I'm finishing. I promise you I'm almost done. This is one of my other inspirations that I created. Um a handmade diamond ring, believe it or not. I cut out the mold itself, I placed it in the box and I stood it up. So this soap is actually a diamond ring and it smells like white diamonds. I put some essential oil in there and amazing. But anyway, the similarities are fantastic, even though mine is one color, or two, no, not one color, two colors. The similarities are right there. And that is, that was created in 2019 because there were so many wedding vendors in the middle of June, and it was wedding season. So guess what I decided to create? So I got inspired and I said, you know what, why not? And it, the story goes, he bought me a ring, and actually not quite. The diamond ring was created with inspiration from all around seeing people fall in love and create in the moment. So that was my source of inspiration. And the song goes, at last my love has come along like a song, my lonely days are over. So I got inspired and I created a soap for that purpose. Enjoy. Next. Now, last but not least, we all need to chill pill. 
and this soap mold was made with the plastic soap molds. That was very, I was just starting out, even though I don't have that mold anymore. I learned. But this was a chill pill that sometimes you just need the chill pill. And I find it perfectly stated that it does wrap everything up. When the going gets tough, the tough get going. So I got creative and made this chill pill. And it's been, <laughs> it's been eye-opening. And the scent is amazing. It doesn't smell medicinal. It smells like a cooling menthol. So, um, that's pretty much my story. Everything, everything ties together in one. And it took me a long time to get here. And I'm still getting inspired every day. And tapping into my bag of tricks, my inspiration, and putting this together. This was a long time coming, like three years in the making, to get this book, this book together. And I'm on my way to do that. So I hope that you enjoy this 20-minute video. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing my channel. And stay tuned for more details. Thank you so much. And take care of yourself. Use your bag of tricks and get creative.